in my previous video i show you how to create multi level dependent drop down for a single sheet then i develop a new video on which i show you how to create multi level dependent drop down for multiple sheet but one of the limitation was we have helper column on each and every sheet for example if i show you january tab we have the helper column if i show you february tab we have the helper column if i unhide those column for example and i select any of the continent let's say africa the formula will run and it will extract all of the related city based on this drop down table and if i select let's say any of the country if i scroll to the right side you can see this extract the matching city based on dependent drop down table for selected country now of course this procedure work fine but this lower the performance of sheet so i think a lot and i develop a new solution for you now in this solution we don't need to create any helper column on monthly sheet we have the drop down table we have two hidden helper sheet now for example i select let's say any of the continent it will show me the country and it will also show me the city if i go to march sheet for example and i just select any of the continent it will show me the country and it will also show me the related city and even if i just right click and duplicate this tab for example i will right click to rename it let's say april if i select any of the continent for example it will show me the related country and also the related city so how we can develop this solution in google sheet i will show you each and everything in this video consider i have the sheet on which i have the four tab the first tab we will use for dependent drop down the next step are the relation and the second level and third level sheet i will apply here a formula but we will hide them when i complete this whole project for now i will click on drop down table and i will right click on the very first row insert row above now i will click on fill color and i will reset the fill color and the font color i will change to black color i will write here connect to and here i will write the name of the tape so for now i have only january tape so i will simply write jan and hit enter make sure the spelling of tape and this one is exactly match the next thing i will click on january tape i will click on b2 cell hit control shift down arrow key control backspace key click on data data validation add rule click on drop down from arrange select data range click here go to drop down table sheet click on a3 cell click your mouse here again type colon and simply type a instead now there are duplicate as well as blank row in this range but drop down will automatically skip the blank as well as duplicate now i will simply hit ok scroll a little bit to the downside click advanced option scroll a little bit more click on arrow format hit done and now if i go to january tab i have successfully created my drop down now i will click few options and i will go to second level sheet here i will simply type equal click on drop down table click on b1 actually i select the b1 because my month name are in b1 if you have any other cell for month name you can assign those cell i will simply type n percent quotation mark exclamation mark and i will type b2 colon b quotation mark again hit enter now this return a reference if i go to january tab i can see that my drop down start from b2 to b so this is what i want but this is a reference i want to convert this into a range so i will simply type indirect formula open parenthesis close parenthesis hit enter now it will return the data from b2 to b using indirect formula for now if i just write a duplicate copy and i just rename it for example let's say fib and here i select a few more options for example and now if i switch to second level sheet i can see the same option but if i go to drop down table and instead of january i type feb hit enter and go to second level sheet now i can see that the data is pulling from february tab for now i will delete this february tab and i will also write january here the next thing i need to get these country list based on continent match in second level sheet so if i write a formula here equal filter open parenthesis what is the range you want to filter i will go to drop down table i will select b3 drag the mouse down and i will remove the 7 because i want to assign the full column for the drop down 
comma for the condition i will select a3 cell and i will drag the mouse down and i will remove the end reference which is 8 and simply type equal go to second level sheet here select a1 cell close parenthesis hit enter now it will extract the country based on selected continent which is africa the next thing we need to apply unique function here open parenthesis and close parenthesis to remove the duplicate now i will apply another function which is transpose open parenthesis and close parenthesis hit enter for now i can easily drag this formula but instead of drag and drop we will apply new by row function i will simply select all of the formula hit ctrl x key for now write by row function open parenthesis what is the array or range in this case i want to loop through each and every cell in column a i will simply select the whole column a comma now i will write lambda function lambda now here we need to define the name for lambda function so in this case my range is a to a i will simply define x hit comma what is the formula or expression i will simply hit ctrl v to paste my whole formula now here you can see a1 but we don't need to write a1 here since we already defined that x is my parameter and i want to loop one by one row so instead of a1 i will simply write x and i will hit enter now this will give me all of the matching country based on selected continent on january tab but with a single formula the next thing i will click on january tab i will click on c to cell hit ctrl shift down arrow key ctrl backspace key go to data data validation add rule here i will select drop down from a range select data range click here go to second level sheet click on v1 cell select all of the column to the right side if you want to include more column you can simply remove the z and it will select entire column a now here is a trick i also explained this trick in my last video you just need to click here and must type equal sign now i will simply hit ok scroll a little bit to the downside click advanced option scroll a little bit more click on arrow format hit done now if i go to january tab i have successfully created my second level depending drop down i will select few options here the next thing we need to apply the third level dependent drop down the first thing i will go to second level sheet i will click on this formula copy this whole formula Control c click on third level sheet click on a1 cell Control v to paste the whole formula now this formula is still extracting all of the continent from january tab but in this case we want to extract the country instead of b i need to use c so i will simply update this formula and instead of b this time i want column c data now i will go to second level sheet again i will click on b1 cell Control c to copy this whole formula but before pasting in third level sheet i will switch to drop down table and you can see country in column b and city in column c so i will go to third level sheet double click on b1 cell Control v to paste this whole formula the range is okay but we need to convert b to c and a to b everything will be same i will simply hit enter now this will extract the city based on selected country in january tab what i need to do i will simply go to january tab i will click on d2 cell hit ctrl shift down arrow key ctrl backspace key to move to the ecto cell again click on add rules drop down from a range select b1 cell and now drag to the entire first row if you want the entire row simply remove the z before hitting ok you must need type equal sign and this tip is very important i will hit ok and i will click on advanced option i will select arrow format hit done now if i go to january tab i can see the matching city based on selected country if i select for example from netherlands to let's say spain i will see the matching city now if i right click on this step and duplicate this step I will rename this tab let's say fib for now i will delete all of the data sheet just for understanding for now if i select let's say asia it will show me the wrong country and this is because we need to update the name of sheet in drop down table if i go to drop down table instead of january we need to convert this to february since i'm working in february tab now now if i switch to february tab i will see the matching country but the question arise we need to automate this process we don't need to type manually each time we create a new sheet for example i create let's say a new sheet duplicate 
rename it let's say march and for example i select let's say asia i don't see any option here because we need to write the name of sheet on which i'm working i will simply go to drop down table and simply type here march hit enter now if i go to march sheet this drop down will be working fine now the question arise we need to automate this process so for this i will give you a very simple script two line script you just need to copy this whole script Control c click on extension in your sheet click on app script remove all of this function Control v to paste the function here you can see drop down table now this is the name of sheet on which we have the drop down relation so if you have any other name in your code you just need to update this drop down table and b1 is referencing the cell on which we have the month's name so in drop down table if you have b1 cell you can just write b1 or if you have any other location on which you need to type the name of tape you can just assign those cell i will simply hit run button and now i will click on trigger option add trigger in this case i will select select event type on edit now every time i edit the sheet this code will be run i will hit ok and i will now close this window now if i go to march sheet and i just edit this sheet a little bit asia after a little bit time these will be removed since this will be now my ecto sheet and the drop down will work in this sheet now and it will show me the related country and also the related city i can see march is my current ecto sheet since i did not edit in drop down table currently if i edit in february tape for example if i go here and let's say select north america now this is my ecto sheet the drop down will be updated and it will show me related country as well as city and even if i duplicate this sheet right click duplicate and i will simply rename it let's say april if i do a little bit edit here just to run the code after a little bit time the code will update and now i can see the country related to selected option as well as the city if i go to drop down table i can see that april was my last ecto sheet i hope you learned something useful if you like the video please subscribe my channel for more video and if you have time please share this video as well thank you so much